Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. This is The Blubber with our Chosun One run. We are cleaning up Shun and Kui. Shun. Anyway, everyone comes down to Baoding to get ready to attack those rebels. Our new layer of galleys starts to complete. We can eject him a bit more forcefully. of exploring these and getting claims on them and then eating them. We need to fix this, which means we unfortunately... Oh uh, no, our, our rebels aren't actually that high, so... We've cleared them off. Now, how many do we need on each? Six and six. Easy enough. One per siege. Which makes two. Three, four, five, six. One more on each in case they get a siege tick. That should work out. Once these reinforce, we can start swapping the horses out because they cost more to uh, reinforce. Win this time against their silly boats. Well, it did cost us a transport. So let's rebuild. At least up to 10 transport sounds like a sane number. Yeah, 10 and 10. I don't know how much Japan have. How much Japan have? Less than 10. Okay, so we're going to have to stop mill teching up. Mm, I don't actually want the royal marriage with you. That is quite an alliance block you have there. I want, might want to swap over to Shang Sen after this war. Ducats and prestige. I think not. Board for the clergy to gain 10 influence? Yes. And we have some prestige so we can pay down their loyalty. Boom. They're loyal. They should keep integrating again. Now, we can start replacing the horses. So, one, two. Two. Speed up. Wow. 
one more, and we should be able to go replace the other horses close enough. One, two. So we've optimized our cost as much as I'm willing to for these sieges. I don't like leaving exactly the right amount and moving units on and off every time, it's just painful. We will gain more prestige. And we're going to stop doing this and go free stability, beautiful. Go try and get our happiness up with him so we can ally him. Now, this is finished, so we can move up to that siege, or this siege, but they've cancelled their access, so that. New units, not the bus. Whilst we're at war. cheapest. Move him up. Oh no, our, our vassal is doing it. Fine and good. Now is he willing to peace out yet? Yes, will you even give me... thank you. Sensibleness does you credit. Now, definitely want that one. What well, we have claims on? We have claims on precisely the right amount, as it turns out. Which actually connects my coast up. New ink. But not here. Now. with Z. Easy to fix. You are the new linchpin. <clears throat> and what's it done for my aggressive expansion? Nothing good. So once again we have to have a period of waiting. Now, what other things can we do? Well, we can improve all of the newly taken land, prevent it from rebelling. Oh, we can core some of it. In fact, try and core all of it. if I finish integrating him. In any case, let's go try and deal with him. I've still got manpower left. They want more stuff. Hmm. Have another look. That one's kind of okay for the nobility. And it gets rid of our problem. We will take... I don't know, probably manpower reserves. We're not going to do anything for a long time. Actually, once we have this colonized, we can probably do it a whole bunch of exploring over in uh, Australia. Let's have another look. We 
can make sure to improve here so that he stays loyal until he finishes integrating. We can look at who he's not allied to. So he isn't allied to Kui. We can fabricate our next batch on Kui. And he isn't allied to Min. We could try and fabricate on Min once we're once we've done this. Check that it isn't like mountains or something other. Hideous. Not mountains, so if we go out here, we should get rid of his rebels. Better be thankful. You hear me? Thankful. Split, split. Ended our provinces, liberated our promises, the provinces. Very good. And I only spent about half of our manpower pool. He's got the rest. Our missionary is about to finish in Manila. Beautiful. Watch next month as it has the correct. Yep, it now has no effective unrest. <clears throat> We spend down our claims. Although we work on another one. We say we're getting there. We're getting towards owning all of China. Slowly but surely. Still a while away. Oh, and we have new forts to delete. Doink, don't like you. I do like these two, and I'm going to get rid of that one, I imagine. And that one. Anyway. We no longer need high army maintenance. cause done, so... Why not? Now, do we just make a generous donation? Good. This. Don't really want to. I don't really want to do that one either. As much as I would like this to go get those islands, I'm gonna wait and explore it by boat means. Goodbye, Prestige. Now, our techs. You're the most behind in admin. We are going to concentrate on admin. Here we go. Three points. Printing press type event. Sad that we can't see exactly everything on this at the moment. Uh, get down these last claims on Kui. Then we can instead fabricate on who was it? In. In isn't allied to the right people. Yep. 
thing. Instead, we improve with our ally by doing things like royal marrying him, by doing things like letting him know we will offer him access. by spending down our prestige to make the happy, integrating them. Uh, Diplo rep. So as these cores come in, that will come back. And that they have better Diplo tech than me. Which I admit is somewhat my own fault for doing these, but it did get us this, which is a really strong national idea. And I'm integrating them, like, I'm spending all my Diplo integrating them. A considerable help. Two extra points. Points. Then presumably a point five. So that won't come in until the missionary finishes and we can start the last one. But at least we won't have religious disunity corruption. Now we should be improving with everyone, even though it doesn't matter too, too much. Spend down our claims on Min. So we'll speed up. Uh, how can I have a CB on someone I can't see? Can I click on them from the... Yeah? No, so I can't even declare war on them from here. Uh, take this guy to help get it done quicker. It also keeps him loyaler in the meantime. More loyal. Regible women. When is their next thing going away? quite some time. Or lose a stability. But, they have enough loyalty that I can probably just... revoke a province if it becomes a problem. So, refinishes, we're back at 100% unity. At least until... well, aside from that. And in a moment, aside from Jian Zhao, Jian Zhao and our colony. Who for some reason we're sending people there, but apparently we send them there with the wrong religion. Anyway. Too short. 
Shun. Can't get any more on Min, so we call back. Throw one of the other minions. Okay. And then we have to just wait. 20 years? Like 20 years. Or at least until we can ask them for a better diplomat. About three years away. Diet held. Check our force limit. It has gone up. Might as well use it. Perfect. Super slow. Hmm. I really would like to get to the next diplomat. Uh, not diplomat. Colonist. I don't care about that and the finisher so much. So I can invest in military. We will pick the cheapest. Improve with him even if we are going to eat him one day. Same deal with Liang. And here we go. Integration is a slow process. Now our force limit's probably going to be exceeded by six. I definitely don't need more horses. Five, six. That should be perfect. Yep. Come on over when we can. I don't think we'll be exceeding our naval limit, so I don't mind keeping them around. But what I do need to do is start converting, so... unity, which our legitimacy, legitimacy coming up will help, as will converting things. Part of it is overextension, which will go away, so I think we're kind of okay. I would love to be able to ask for the Inquisitor. <laughs> Up. 
can we improve with? Meow. Ally? Who's apparently at war with Diviet? Attack them? Yes. No, they attack Diviet. Is Japan integrating anyone? Nope, right, because they've all got too high limit. Oh, no, he is doing Takeda. Somehow, they are not allied to each other. Oh, and Aino exist again. And I can fabricate on them and use them as a pretext to ac 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 attack Japan. Oh, but they're a vassal. How odd. Anyway. <clears throat> I can see that some of you are coming up. Still a long way away. Speed up. Maybe go sit on that. With an actual army. And I think it's 20 units you need to leave to maximum unrest reduction. It looks like one of these ones expired. Means I can ask for the vetted diplomat. Ooh, that is expensive. But be helpful. And we're trying to do all those diplo ideas, so it'll be helpful for that too. Almost suppressed here. States, I suppose. We got all dates. So I've got up to about eight more that I could declare. Mongolia is pretty big. But really, it's only like 20 development something. A long young god. Is a bit better. Eden, twenty five, thirty. So I'm okay with that one. Is this one? Almost. That one falls out, but... Eight, ten, say. Say twenty. Five. About thirty. Sure. Down, see if that affects our these guys and makes them go away as a problem. And it does. 
and we laugh. And we check if any of these make really good provinces for the clergy. That one kind of does. That one. But it's time to end the episode. So, we pick the most obvious one. That one. And we say, Clergify. And we're back in problem land, but we have extended the time until it occurs. Hopefully enough. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been The Blobber with our Choson 1 run here in EU4. I hope you've enjoyed watching and will join us again soon. Bye-bye.